So this one's a, a bit of an indulgence. Um, I've been acquiring some uh, classic games in recent weeks. Um, amongst them, Star Force Trilogy and uh, After the Holocaust, which I already did um, unboxing videos on. And I uh, also grabbed the old SPI game War in the Ice, um, which I don't know if that's a classic exactly, but um, some old SPI titles uh, based on some more obscure topics. <clears throat> uh, this topic is anything but obscure um, and I had looked for copies of the Lord of the Rings or the War of the Ring, uh, SPI version of War of the Ring in the past uh, but it was always you know pretty expensive um, especially for an unpunched copy and uh, I had held off based on, uh, in part based on uh, Callendale's review of the game, who uh, viewed War of the Ring as always kind of disappointing, um, especially compared to. Uh, um, let's get a copy of it over here. Uh, the uh, old Iron Crown Enterprises game, uh, Fellowship of the Ring. And I had gotten a copy of that a couple of years ago. Um, rather than, and that was easier to find for for cheaper uh, than the old SPI War of the Ring. But um, with this recent acquisition of some sort of long sought after uh, classic titles, um, an opportunity came up to get this game, and not just War of the Ring, but also the uh, Gondor and Sauron, um, I don't know if you'd call them mini games or what exactly, they're, I mean, there are, there are I guess full games, but they're not as big in scope as War of the Ring. Uh, but I had an opportunity to get a copy of this that included Gondor and Sauron and all of them unpunched. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to take a look uh, at an unpunched copy of this old, uh, well, I guess you could call it a classic, although um, the opinions, and not just Callendale's, but other, other reviews I've read on it tend to be fairly mixed. Um, in, in the appreciation of the game, uh, at least as as uh, part of the war game uh, offerings from SPI. So we'll uh, go ahead and take a look here. Classic uh, SPI box cover. That font um, shows up on everything that SPI does. Uh, you can just take a look at all of the SPI titles. They all have that. I guess Art of Siege is a little different, but um, a lot of the others for your medieval battles, Empires of the Middle Ages, Constantine, Armada, Star Force Trilogy, they all have that. I guess you could say it's a very dated looking font now. Um, but uh, I don't know. I, I've always kind of liked it because to me it says something. It says SPI to me, and I know SPI comes with a certain. Uh, expectation in terms of graphic design because it was all handled by Redmond Simonson and uh, he was pretty good at it. So it's got, uh, and this is rather than the War of the Ring, I think the actual, like the designer's edition of War of the Ring actually just says War of the Ring across the top here uh, because this is a bundle of different games. You've got the games of Middle Earth based on J.R. Tolkien's The Ring trilogy and then you've got War of the Ring, Sauron, Gondor. So a little bit different than the than the uh, designer edition. Um, that's the more commonly seen version of War of the Ring. Um, but we do start out with the War of the Ring rules, and these again are classic SPI style, and that sort of case style. Uh, although slightly different, like they're doing the. A little bit different layout than um, what I typically think of, because here they're broken down into like letter columns. So you got A, B, C, D, etc., and then subsections. So it's a little bit different than their classic case style. Um, and I think charts, <clears throat> yeah, charts and tables. One of those things that I hate. Where there's, there's the dotted line. So cut out the charts and tables. What I usually end up doing in cases like this, rather than cutting apart the manual, is uh, scanning these and then printing them out on cardstock. Um, 
so there's all the charts bundled in the middle and then the rest of the rules which are in pretty good shape got a little a little, uh, little wear to them but it's going to be expected after 35 years and the event cards <coughs> Which are still um, unpunched on these uh, lengthy sheets. You can see there, it actually unfolds out into a pretty long sheet of cards. And there's uh, several of these. And they've got all your character information on the back it's Legolas, Gimli, Aragorn. Listing out the Fellowship, Free Peoples, Forces of Sauron, so forth and so on. And I'm not sure if these are all from War of the Ring or if some of these are used in other games. Well, there's Gollum, Chernazgul. the back. Some of these things that don't have any characters in the front are actually items. So I see Glamdring up there. Limba spread. And those look like search cards and event cards. Or actually have some fairly lengthy descriptions on them. And then another sheet of event cards. And lots of them. There's Tom Bombadil intervening. Something missing from the movies of recent years. We've got the Gondor charts and tables, and this is nice because these charts and tables are actually uh, separate from the rule book. However, they are, and these look like they're identical. That's for Gondor, yep. However, they are not on cardstock, they are just on regular paper. Just the Gondor rules, exclusive rules, because I think they do some series rules. Um, and so these exclusive rules are actually just a single fold-over sheet. So essentially four pages. So like I said, it is almost like they're almost like they're mini games. And there's the Sauron exclusive rules. Same thing. Just a couple of pages. Standard rules for Gondor and Sauron. And it looks like there's two copies of these. And again, just like the series, there, this the uh, uh, game specific rules. These are only a single fold over sheet. So there are two of them. And we've got there's the maps. I'll lay those out shortly. So here's your Sauron counters. Fairly classic uh, SPI counters for the era. Matte finish, um, simple but effective artwork on them. Again, that's going to be all Simonson designs. Uh, interesting. So the back of these is actually inverted to the front. So they're what I would call counters designed to be flipped, uh, flipped vertically when you're playing. Here are the counter sheet for War of the Ring. It's one of those, um, and again, all the uh, game companies used to do this <clears throat> back in the 70s and on into the 80s even, uh, where their counter sheets were these fold over kind of deals. Um, so obviously a lot more counters for War of the Ring, it's a bigger game. So Gollum gets his own 
his own little counter down there. That makes sense. He's kind of important. And it's the Gondor counters. A few more of that. Looks like Sauron has the fewest counters. But Gondor with the forces of Sauron and the Westernist allies. And then the old uh, uh, July to December 1978 old SPI newsletter. Funnily enough, uh, Decision Games, their current newsletters look not unlike this. <laughs> Sent, uh, printed on newsprint um, with an order sheet for you to fill out by hand. Uh, I think that gives you a good idea of the average age of Decision Games subscribers. Uh, probably not too familiar with the internet. Um, old SPI complaint card. Feel free to mail that in. See where it goes. And then a uh, counter tray in the bottom. So let me lay out the maps and we'll take a look at those. So unlike uh, the designer edition of the game, this is, these maps are on paper. Uh, and the War of the Ring map is a two-section map. It's kind of a full 22 by 34 or what I forget whatever the your typical map dimensions are for a single map and then there's kind of this one sheet fold over extension um, that extends over uh, into I think you should have yeah there's there's a Mordor there um, I think that's right yeah Minas Morgul Minas Tirith, all there, um, and then the sort of northern and the northern zones. Uh, but again, all classic SPI era uh, Simonson style map. Uh, although a little bit unique in that it doesn't have the gray border. Oh wait, there it does. Just on this side, <laughs> that doesn't extend over onto the border with the ocean there, which is a little bit unusual for SPI maps. They usually always have that gray border on them. So. Anyway, there is the War of the Ring map, and here are the maps for Gondor and Sauron. So the Gondor map uh, looks very classic SPI style map. You can see the city of Minas Tirith there, uh, complete with the big cliff face that kind of divides it in two, and the different levels. And then over on the Sauron map, looks like the borders of Mordor there. <clears throat> and uh, again, these are much smaller than the Wuthering map, each a single sheet, and put them together, and they're the about the same size as a typical one-sheet wargame map. So uh, much, much smaller than the uh, Wuthering map. So there we have it, a look inside the box of the games of Middle-earth, War of the Ring, Gondor, and Sauron.